All right, time's now 444. Let's get over to Peyton. All right, Leslie, a lot of people messaged us yesterday. We had a ton of pictures coming in of this unique looking cloud that a lot of people have never seen before and it does have a name and we have a great explanation for what it was. It's called a fall street cloud or a hole punch cloud because it looks like a hole punch and what it is is it's a circular area that develops in these mid to upper level clouds and then there's some whiskey clouds in the middle. So what exactly happened here? Well, these clouds are way up in the atmosphere where it's below freezing, but the cloud droplets remain water. We call this super cold. It's when a water droplet is below low freezing but still liquid. But what happens here is a plane usually comes on through and it agitates these super cold water droplets. It introduces some ice crystals and then those water droplets begin to freeze where that train uh, that plane traveled. And then as those water droplets freeze and turn to ice crystals, they start to fall and evaporate and you're left with some evaporative uh, wispy looking clouds here and then um, no clouds on the outside. And it's just a domino effect. So it starts in the middle and works its way out until eventually it stops and that's why you get kind of a perfect circle. So that's what happened yesterday. We had a ton of people asking about this. It happened in the middle of the afternoon. It is quite rare. We don't see it very often, but whenever it happens over a huge metropolitan area like New Orleans, a lot of people see it. So something interesting. No, this is not aliens. No, this did not have anything to do with the boom. I've had a ton of questions asked about it and they do travel. They travel with the clouds. This is what it ended up looking like on the coast. My friend, um, Eric Johnson over there, a meteorologist, took this picture as it was traveling over the Mississippi Sound. The hole was still there, but notice it lost those wispy colors, so or those wispy clouds. So it traveled all the way from Louisiana to Mississippi, and then it eventually gets kind of washed out with the strong winds. So there's the explanation on the funny cloud you saw yesterday, and a lot of people saw it. 